Is this thing on? I think we are. Yes. We are back. As we promised we would yesterday. We return with more updates of what life is like in here and what life may be like out there where we are explicitly forbidden to go, save one of us. Now, given that we've been spending some more time inside, I think it's time to talk about day two. Daytime television could use some improvements. We put it to you, the British public, that the offerings broadcast on BBC One's daytime slot, that being 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock, are simply not fit for purpose. We begin 10 o'clock, Homes Under the Hammer. Very nice, I'm sure you I'm sure you agree. However, all but one of us has, has been since cut off from the required revenue needed to purchase said house. We are lost, we are adrift, and would I trust them, would I trust those things to sell me anything? I think not. 10.45, bargain hunt. Dear, dear. What is a life made of? Things. A life is made of things, things to eat, things to wear things to display on your mantelpiece. However, I do not want to be shepherded around the detritus of such lives by one like Tim Wanacock. It's a good job he's not on anymore. Accursed be his name. I do, I do however, like the, uh, the Scottish woman. She's got a very soothing voice. I quite like the way she discusses pottery. That's good. I watched her sell a small pewter dog for £25. And I was calmed. And then I remembered the accursed Tim Wanacott would have been lucky to get seven for it. And I was less calm. Then the news came on. And we saw the face of our leader. And we were calmed and we were inspired. Just because we cannot go outside does not mean we are not useful. We can do many things from home the condition of your body, exercise, even do your regular job from right here within these four walls. And it inspired us to get on with what we were meant to do. That is, until three o'clock, when it came on. Escape to the country. I ask you, BBC, why do you taunt us like this? No way of escape. We've been locked in. I miss it. I miss air. I miss grass. I miss her. How it used to be. But never mind that now. We are pleasantly occupied here. We are safe, we are well, and as we are... As we all must remember, it could be worse. Oh yes, this could be Italy. They ran away from the lockdown and spread it all over their country. We are not so feeble-minded, no. The British lion will pace its cage for now and be happy. In the spirit of this containment, I would like to read you today's poem. It's called, Back Inside With You. I did not know you were the high street pavement police. I could not predict your badge, your claws unsheathed. You caused me then a short tick of suffering. When this is all over, I will develop a deep knowledge of your mum. Thanks, Officer Riordan. Blessings of Bob and this house be upon you. We await your company tomorrow.